Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor, thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra, A, B, C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe, but please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. Tout à fait, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. Don't dilly-dally, Poirot. Chap will be waiting for us. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half-past ten. Luckily, the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Indeed, Poirot. We were used to seeing you judge people with more discretion. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around 11 in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? 
A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Mrs. Asher? In her fifties. Married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh. Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. Do you think he's guilty? We'll look for Franz Asher. If he doesn't have an alibi, the case is closed. A very unoriginal murder. Peut-être. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. Teal does not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. Ah, a mechanism has just made a fan click. is full of money, but there is something strange. Something is hidden underneath. Something is hidden underneath. Something is hidden underneath. I need to find the code. I need to find the code. I need to find the code.
need to find the code. I need to find the code. This must be the key to the back of the shop. It's not just any railway guide, it's an ABC. It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. Red liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? No. It's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. The counter is covered with fingerprints all on top of one another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. The door is locked. Blood. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashers were a lovely couple when they were young. Hmm, it is blocked.
Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the symmetry. wooden flower is preventing the circle from turning. The wooden flower is preventing the circle from... I heard a faint sound as if something was unlocked. Hmm, it is blocked. Hmm, it is blocked. These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. These drawings appear to... These drawings appear to be attached... These drawings appear to be attached.
Medicine. Laudanum-based cough medicine, Mrs. Hasher, and Dover Morley Laboratory, London. It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, Andover, to Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, Andover. Dear Mrs. Asher, further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution, £11, is not high enough and represents too small a part of the final transaction. I remain at your disposal for any questions. Adam Flint Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. This interior is very simple. Mrs. Asher lived very simply. is unusually tight. Nothing suggests any sign of a fight. <laughs> 